So, good morning. Good morning. So, uh, who are you and what are you doing? Uh, I'm uh, Elisa Jansen and I'm uh, 30 years old and I'm a co-founder of Lena the Fashion Library. So, and, and sounds like uh, some, uh, some fashion and library. So, so uh, what are you doing? We're um, uh, a store, but we're also uh, a library, so you can borrow clothes with a subscription. So that's what we do. And how did you get into the idea? Um, well, I already have a vintage web shop and a shop with my two sisters for eight years. So we were always uh, busy with sustainability and fashion and how we could reuse clothing. And um, yeah, we came up with the idea um, on a road trip to France um, about three, four years ago. And um, I think now a year and a half ago, we thought it's time now we should do it. So we did a lot of research and, and wrote a business plan. And in December, uh, we opened our doors. Okay, and so you opened a, a complete new store or did you uh, uh, did it in your uh, existing store? No, we opened a complete uh, new store. Our vintage shop is in Eindhoven. Um, we did a little pilot there just to um, learn some practical stuff. Um, but we thought this, this kind of concept should be in Amsterdam. So uh, we opened it in Amsterdam. And, 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 and uh, uh, what did you learn from the shop in, in Eindhoven uh, and also the experiment in, in Eindhoven? And what uh, made it you decide to start in Amsterdam? Um, well, I think the people in Amsterdam are more open-minded, so just second-hand is sometimes a little bit difficult in Eindhoven. Um, a borrowing system is a step uh, above that. So, um, and we learned a lot, uh, especially that it's, if you have a subscription, it's not in your mindset yet, so people, um, they are really, they have to uh, get used to the idea that I have a subscription. Oh, I can come by every week. It's it's really it's different of normal shopping. So, uh, and also other practical stuff like um, how people return things. Are they careful with things? Uh, is it clean? Uh, yeah, it's different with every person, but we have an overall view about that now. And how do you change the mindset of people? Um, we just like to uh, give fun reminders like on social media and with a newsletter. Uh, we have some new stuff and come by and just talking to people in the library, I think. Yeah. And, 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 and what did you learn about how people bring back the stuff? Because uh, they're yeah. very careful. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, we um, we also have um, like an accident policy. So all our sub subscribers, they um, they can have three accidents. So three times if they, I don't know, a glass of wine or their cat or anything, it doesn't matter. There's nothing, um, there's no fee or anything. Um, but we didn't use it yet quite that often, so that's really nice. Yeah. And, and do you also think that it has to do with because people are really, really bringing the, the stuff back in, in the physical store? So uh, uh, what do you think will happen when you uh, do d d these kind of things online because uh, yeah I, th I, I think it's maybe different because we also have a web shop so we have some experience with uh, well not with the fashion library with the other company um, but I think maybe because people don't see you in person there it's maybe different but we didn't test it so I don't know and you said you, uh, you wrote a business plan uh, did you also need, need some extra money to start uh, the shop yeah it, it was a big investment because we thought if you have a subscription, you should have a lot of offer, a big store, um, you know, lots of clothing. So that was a big investment and all our savings <laughs> went to it. But it's, uh, it worked out really well and we're still um, uh, learning a lot. And we still need um, actually more investment to grow, but for now uh, it's, uh, it's good. And how did how, how do you get new uh, uh, subscribers? Uh, and, and, and also because in your business plan you had some ideas about, okay, I want to have this amount of subscribers in, in let's say, this kind of months. Uh, mm -hmm. How's it going? It's going really well. The, the group who joined is much broader as we uh, thought. So we thought it was a little, maybe a little bit a niche um, of like eco fashion women, but 
it's, it's much broader than that. Our youngest subscriber is 15, but we have also uh, ladies 60 plus. So, um, and I think it's because the reasons to join are so different. Some people do it with sustainable reasons. Other ones, they, um, you want to try something um, before they buy it, so try before you buy, or they can experiment with different styles, or a small uh, uh, budget uh, in a month, you can have a big closet, so it's uh, real different. And, and, I, I, and uh, I'm also now checking your website. Uh, I also see that uh, we have a, a, sub a subscription that uh, you can keep the, uh, the, the clothing as long as you want. Uh, yeah. What is the average uh, time that people uh, have the clothing in their house? Or is there an average time? Mm, not really. We have a lot of subscribers who come back, I don't know, a couple of times a week maybe, but they live maybe around the corner or something. Um, other ones just once in two months. It, it's really different, yeah. And it was also uh, possible to bring, our t uh, to bring in your own clothes. Uh, yeah. But it yeah. that's closed now. So uh, what happened? We, g we received a lot, so we just couldn't keep up. So we have like a temporary stop <laughs> on that, yeah. And, and people were bringing their own clothes uh, uh, and then other people could, uh, could, could use it. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, we have two options. Uh, you can uh, hang it in our store on consignment. So when it's sold, it's a 50-50. Uh, um, um, or for subscribers, we have uh, another thing they can swap. So when they bring something in, they get credit and then they can just take something else from the library and keep it. And how do you do your communication? Because there are quite some different uh, uh, possibilities. Uh, so you can swap, so, uh, so you can rent, so you can buy, so you can do try before you buy. Um, yeah. How do you make it clear, the message clear for your customers? Because there are quite some options on here. Um, yeah, well, actually, there are only, they, they, yeah, you can uh, loan with a uh, subscription or a stamp card. So actually, there are only two options. So all those little things are in all uh, ways to borrow. So. But it's a lot of explaining, and we have some nice infographics in the store um, and on the website, so hopefully uh, we can make it a little clearer. And, 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 and how are, are other closing stores uh, re uh, responding at your concepts? Well, in the beginning, when we didn't have the physical store yet, it was because we wanted, we have a lot of vintage in the, in the store because it's our background, but we also um, have a lot of uh, collaborations with new brands. So, um, but in the beginning, it was, well, kind of hard to set up those collaborations, but now they see what we do. It's, it's, it's much easier and they're really enthusiastic. They can have a lot of feedback uh, from their items, you know, uh, and also the quality, they can test it. So I think it's a good win-win uh, situation. And how do you choose your right partners? Because I also see quite some partners at your website. Mm -hmm. Well, um, they must have um, um, like a little bit of the same vision. So um, we have a lot of eco labels because we really want to introduce them uh, to a broader uh, group because a lot of people um, who buy at fast fashion uh, uh, stores, they know, well, that dress for 10 euros isn't made in a really good way, but what should I do? They, it's, it's, it's a hard question because also the eco labels, they, um, you cannot buy them everywhere and they're kind of expensive. So we think it's a really nice uh, low key way to introduce them. Um, and yeah, we also uh, have a lot of uh, upcoming designers, so it's also a nice uh, stage for them. Yeah. Okay, so 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 uh, it's also really a store for really sustainable clothes that yeah, that weren't made somewhere in a uh, old uh, warehouse in uh, in uh, let's say uh, Bangladesh. No, no, no. That's also our really uh, main thing for if people want to bring in stuff, we don't take fast fashion because we don't want to stimulate <laughs> that industry, but also. Uh, the quality is just it's too low. Yeah, yeah, I, I, uh, I do recognize like this shirt. <laughs> 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 and you also, said, uh, you also have some growth ambition and you also need investments for that. So, so uh, uh, yeah. what are your next steps or what which that you want to take next? Yeah, um, but because the, the target group is much broader, the collection must be, uh, it's because we have a lot of vintage right now, it's maybe too specific for lots of people. So uh, we're really, uh, working on um, those collaborations with new labels and we want to invest in that and also in our time because we
just we, we do it with four ladies <laughs> and uh, we're just caught up in all the daily stuff with helping our, our, our clients so um, we also would really love some help in the store to invest in that so we can uh, do other stuff. Yeah, and, and what kind of other stuff? Uh, do you also plan on opening new stores or maybe to open an online platform? Yeah, well, our dream is to have a Lena library everywhere, but we first, we're really pioneering right now. We have to develop this really good and then we can uh, go other places, I think. And uh, what will be your next step? Uh, uh, opening another store or, or also do more online, uh, 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 like a platform? I think opening another store. It's maybe, a, I think the investment would be much bigger, but um, yeah, we, sp we, we chose to do it offline because we really like the face-to-face -face contact with people. And I think that's uh, um, a thing people like. Also nowadays they miss a maybe a little bit. Yeah, and, and, and um, because you also, uh, yeah, I'm really thinking about, uh, uh, do you know swap.com? No. It's, I it's, don't know. Uh, it's a concept, uh, it's, uh, it's from uh, some f uh, entrepreneurs in Finland, but they are more based in mm -hmm. the US, and, and, mm -hmm. and people can send them uh, their clothes to them, and they make yeah. a nice f pictures of them, and then they yeah. sell it like a marketplace. Uh, ah, so yeah, that's yeah. why they also really provide people to, to, to have a platform, but, uh, but also with good quality to, uh, to, to, to yeah, uh, swap second hat uh, clothes. Ah, that's really nice. I should uh, check it out. <laughs> and and uh, if you're going to, to open a new store, uh, uh, where will it be, do you think? Or do you also already have? I think maybe a second one in Amsterdam, because um, we also learned, because we're uh, located in the Jordaan, and um, we also learned that um, how much people love the concept, they still think it's too far to go by bike if they live in the pipe or something. So um, at first we thought, well, one big library should be enough for Amsterdam, but I think uh, maybe, or maybe what some smaller libraries would be really nice. And what I, li what I really like about your concept is, is that you're really on uh, in, the, in, the, in the offline world. You say, okay, uh, there are mm -hmm. many possibilities online, but we prefer the really online in the shop. So mm -hmm. how do you look uh, with your vision on that to all the really fast growing platforms, uh, doing big business, growing internationally, uh, where you say, okay, but I really like more the, the offline local focus. Mm -hmm. But do you mean like with sustainable things online or just general? Uh, just general. Mm -hmm. um, well, um, I don't know, it's for everybody um, I think their own decision, but I think it's a really good thing. You can also do really nice things online, of course, um, but I hope it's kind of in a good way, so you can do something better for I don't know other people or the world or in any way. Okay, and you just say your ultimate dream is to have a a, a shop uh, at every city in the world. Um, yeah. <laughs> and uh, so, how many years will uh, would it take? I don't know. Uh, we, we would, our dream is, you know, if you can take a flight and you only have your small hand luggage with your library card and you go to New York or to Paris, it doesn't, doesn't matter, and you can just go to the library there and pick something nice out for a party and just don't have to bring it yourself. It would be really nice. Uh, how many years? I don't know. I hope quick. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow. Yeah. Yesterday, yeah. and uh, yeah. also uh, uh, while growing, do you uh, do you also get an, an, an idea about how you want to grow? So do you want to open other stores yourself, or maybe turn it into a, a uh, concept where also other people can can open your your stores? Yeah, that would be really nice because we also uh, we get a lot of emails of people. Oh, I want to open a fashion library. Um, I don't know. Can you uh, open a Leno, or can we collaborate? So I think that's a really we cannot do it ourselves and. And also, um, I hope there will be lots, not only Lena libraries, but lots of libraries because we have a specific style, but there, I think the lending system is the future. So um, I hope lots of people would open one and we can help maybe in, I don't know, what kind of way we learn a lot already. Okay, cool. And, 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 and uh, when people are watching that also want to open their, uh, 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 their own lending store in, in, in mm -hmm. maybe clothes, maybe other stuff, so uh, what are your main, uh, what would your main advice uh, would be for this kind of people? Um, that uh, they should pay really good attention to the collection 
because um, people can love the concept, but if they don't wear the clothes, then you don't have any subscribers. So I think that's a really, really important thing. So it's really focused also on the quality. Yeah, the quality and the style. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Thank you very much for the interview and uh, good luck with yeah. your next steps. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>